The movie begins in a deep jungle, and we see a small boy running. At first glance, it looks like he is being chased by wolves, but the wolves don't attack him. From the trees, we hear that something much bigger is chasing after the boys and the wolf as well. The boy manages to run for a while, and he is very agile. He tries to climb up on a tree, but one of the branches breaks. The boy is then attacked by a giant black panther, but it doesn't harm him, and they are in fact old friends. We are introduced to Bagheera, he was the one who found the boy so many years ago. He didn't know what to do with him, so he gave him to the wolves. The boy is called Mowgli, and Bagheera scolds him about not being as fast as his wolf brothers. Finally, they reach a hill, where all the wolves spend their time. Bagheera has always watched over Mowgli, but he left him in the care of Akela, the pack leader. Akela is a very honorable leader, but he didn't have time to raise Mowgli. Instead, the boy was raised by Raksha, a white wolf. Mowgli is disappointed in himself, for not being able to keep up with his wolf pack. But Raksha gives him words of encouragement. In the distance, Mowgli sees Akela and the rest of the wolves chant their oath. He also joins in, but feels like an outcast. Akela wants to train Mowgli, but it has been difficult because he doesn't have the skills of a wolf yet. Whenever he tries to prove himself, he fails. Months pass, the jungle changes, and a dry season arrives. It is the worst one in years. Water is running scarce, and the animals have to find a way to survive. On an especially hot day, one animal from the jungle finds its way to Peace Rock, and this is a very special place for the animals. Then everyone else arrives at this sacred place. On Peace Rock, there is a truce where all animals won't attack each other, so that they can drink the water. This causes alligators and gazelles to drink and be friendly with each other. The smaller and weaker animals don't have to fear that they will be eaten by the predators. They can all drink the water in peace, allowing them to survive the harsh drought. Mowgli joins all all the animals at Peace Rock and he is very excited to meet all sorts of creatures. He joins his small wolf brothers and they go to the water. All the animals think that it's pretty strange that a human is pretending to be one of them. He feels out of place but still wants to make friends. Soon, all the animals start drinking the water and Mowgli uses a wooden bowl to drink. Akela scolds Mowgli about using his human tricks and tells him that it's not the wolf's way. He apologizes and Akela promises that one day he will be a fine wolf. Suddenly, the atmosphere changes at Peace Rock. All the animals get upset and Akela tells Mowgli to hide behind him. From up top of the hill, we see a giant tiger, the one that everyone fears. His name is Shere Khan, and he has arrived. The nearby animals move out of his way, as he is terrifying. Shere Khan starts to drink the water, but soon he notices Mowgli. In the past, Shere Khan had horrible experiences with humans. He was burned, and almost killed. And for that reason, he now hates all humans, and he starts to threaten Mowgli and his wolf tribe. Shere Khan tells them that humans are not allowed in the jungle and that the boy should be killed. Akela is very firm and tells Shere Khan that he must follow the rules and the boy is part of his tribe. Shere Khan is furious and promises to get his revenge. He announces that when the drought stops he will come for Mowgli to kill him and tells the wolves that they must decide how many lives Mowgli is worth because he will kill everyone to get to the boy. After some time, the rains arrive and the drought officially comes comes to an end. With the end of the drought, the truce comes to the end in the jungle, and the wolves have to decide what they will do with Mowgli. Shere Khan is very dangerous, and they know that he will come for the boy. Mowgli watches with his wolf brother, as the tribe deliberates for days. Akela leads the discussion, and it takes a long time. It seems that the wolves can't come to a decision. Mowgli decides to help them, and joins the discussion. He tells the tribe that he will leave, so that they are safe. Raksha is against this, as she very much thinks of Mowgli as her true son. The rest of the tribe agrees with Mowgli that he should return to his own people. The panther Bagheera also arrives, and offers to help Mowgli find his human tribe. Raksha is heartbroken, but she has to let Mowgli go, still she tells him that he will always be her son. Soon after that, Mowgli and Bagheera begin their journey to find the human village. Bagheera must protect Mowgli until they leave the jungle, as there are many dangers in front of them. The two make their way across the jungle, and while they walk, Mowgli wants to know which tribe he will join. He still thinks that he will remain in the jungle. So he is really surprised when Bagheera tells him that he will live with the humans. Mowgli is scared of people and he doesn't want to live with them. But Bagheera thinks that only humans can protect him from Shere Khan. Mowgli and Bagheera see a bunch of elephants and bow down. It seems that the elephants are the rulers of the jungle. 
After that, they reach a field filled with buffaloes. Bagheera senses danger and tells Mowgli to run. All of a sudden, Shere Khan jumps on and starts to fight Bagheera. Mowgli runs as fast as he can and a buffalo stampede allows him to escape. While Bagheera is strong, he is no match for the powerful Shere Khan. In the meantime, life in the wolf pack continues as before. Raksha misses her son dearly and even his wolf brothers think that he will return. When Shere Khan fails to capture Mowgli, he goes back to pay a visit to the wolf pack. When he arrives, all the wolves are tense. But Shere Khan just sits near Akila and wants to know where Mowgli is going. When Akila confirms that Mowgli is with his own kind, Shere Khan kills him and demands that the boy be brought to him personally. In the meantime, Mowgli is carried by some buffaloes. Soon, he wakes up and sees a massive flood coming toward them. He falls and ends up in the deep parts of the jungle. He gets really hungry, so he finds some fruit and meets cute animals. But he hears a mysterious voice. In an instant, he is met with a giant snake. She wants Mowgli to stay with her, so she starts to hypnotize him. And she shows Mowgli his past when his father carried a baby Mowgli to a cave. He faced off against Shere Khan and died protecting his son. Mowgli was left alone and was found by Bagheera. The panther decided to save the small boy and protect him. In the present, the snake prepares to eat him, but suddenly it gets attacked by a giant bear. Mowgli wakes up in a cave, he is now in the presence of a bear. This bear is called Baloo and he saved Mowgli from the snake. Baloo is very sarcastic and wants Mowgli to help him with his problem. Mowgli is totally confused but follows Baloo. They eventually reach a giant cliffside and there is honey up there that Baloo just can't reach. He tells Mowgli that he must climb up and bring the honey down to him. At first, Mowgli is really hesitant but eventually decides to climb up. Mowgli uses his smarts and creates a giant rope from the jungle vines. He then climbs the cliff and manages to get to the honey. Mowgli and Baloo become friends. Baloo actually takes Mowgli pretty close to the human village. And the two of them sit on a cliff overlooking the village. Mowgli doesn't want to leave the jungle, he doesn't feel like a human. Baloo also thinks that Mowgli could be very useful in finding even more honey. They decide to team up. And Mowgli decides that the best idea would be to stay with Baloo until the winter arrives. Soon after that, Bagheera finally finds both of them. Bagheera is angry at Mowgli for not finding his people and still remaining in the jungle. Baloo tries to calm the situation down and decides that they need some time to reach a decision. The following night, Mowgli spots a couple of elephants and it seems that their baby is in trouble. Mowgli manages to save the baby and return it to its parents. Baloo and Bagheera see all of this happen and they are really impressed by him. Soon after that, Baloo realizes that he can't protect Mowgli from the powerful Shere Khan. And while the boy fits into the jungle, he is in too much danger. Baloo and Bagheera talk and the bear decides to make Mowgli leave and find his own kind. Mowgli gets kidnapped by a crazy monkey tribe. They bring him to their king, who is named King Louie and is a giant ape. The king is very egotistical and demands that Mowgli create fire for him. The king even offers the chance for him to remain in the jungle, he will protect the boy from the tiger. The only demand is that Mowgli becomes his slave in a sense. Soon Baloo arrives and decides to distract the king. Bagheera takes this opportunity to save Mowgli. All three of them get discovered and now they have to escape a whole tribe of monkeys. The monkey king goes after Mowgli in an intense chase. Mowgli barely gets out alive but he also finds horrific news. Akila is dead, and Mowgli doesn't believe it. King Louis then causes the entire temple to start collapsing. Eventually, they are safe, and they tell Mowgli that Akila is truly dead. Mowgli is sad and also angry at his two friends. He can't believe that they didn't tell him about Akila's death. Mowgli cares a lot about his former pack, so he decides to face Shere Khan and finally finish this. He goes to the village of humans and is surprised at their way of life. He eventually finds a torch and takes it to the jungle. Mowgli will use fire against the dangerous tiger. And because he has no experience with fire, Mowgli Mowgli accidentally starts a fire in the jungle, and Shere Khan arrives to capture the boy. He insults the boy and tells him that he is the true enemy. Shere Khan tells Mowgli that he has destroyed the jungle. Mowgli realizes that his wolf brothers now fear him. In an effort to regain their trust, he throws the torch into the water. Bagheera and Baloo join forces with the wolf pack and attack Shere Khan. Mowgli tries to run away, but Shere Khan is on him. He climbs a burning tree, and there he finally faces off 
himself against the tiger. Shere Khan almost kills the boy, but Mowgli tricks him. He has brought him to a dead branch, and it breaks off causing the tiger to fall to his death. Mowgli with the help of the elephants, calms down the fire. Everything returns to normal, Raksha is the new pack leader. And Mowgli can live with his friends in the jungle. He is joined by both Bagheera and Baloo, as they celebrate the wolf pack and a new piece. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you in the next video. Back in my bag and I gotta brag, I do this shit for real. When we was down and we had nothing, we had to share a meal. We put the shit in overdrive with no steering wheel.